Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. So the first thing to talk about, then, is the uh, traitors added by the Vanilla Events Expanded mod. So I, I basically asked you guys, what do you think about maybe turning that down? But in mind, throughout through Wanderers we've had, join us have all been traitors. Which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, given that we've recruited one person over the course of the entire uh, year, I guess, in-game now, right? 63 days since our arrival, we've recruited one extra person, and that was a Wanderer that luckily wasn't a traitor. Turns out, after looking at the mod itself, it is Vanilla Expanded Events. We got quite unlucky, to be honest, with 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 the uh, Wanderers ending up being traitors. It's the fact that we're being given more Wanderers makes it seem higher than it should be, if that makes sense. Um, but I have lowered it regardless, because there are a lot of other things that are, of course, stacking up the difficulty anyway. And the last thing we need is our people, which are already saving grace, also turning out to be against us. So... We are going to whack Moody on the head, drag him into the prison, and re-recruit him at some point. Um, we'll do that in a second when everybody's up and awake. The thing I want to focus on, I think a lot of people have been suggesting, is using Helixine Gas as a temperature control method. Apparently, Helixine Gas is not affected by solar flares, which I actually didn't know. Um, to be fair, we've only really used it once before, and even that was for only a brief period of time. We do have a gas deposit there. Uh, have we got any others? Not as far as I can see. Um, I guess the best way to do it would be to zoom out and just double click it, right? See if we've... No, that's the only one on the map. Wow, we got lucky with that. And it's within inside our walls. So we could uh, connect that one up, basically, and, and just pipe that into the base at some stage. It would be even more sensible, I guess, to build a proper insulated base over this side, right? I don't want to keep tearing down and rebuilding bases. But if this is truly solar flare resistant, that means that we could have a whole base running on gas without worrying about any side effects besides food at that stage and to be fair this is the most basic level of insulation as well so what i want to try and do then is get microelectronics done get multi-analyzers done get the next layer of insulation done and then also helixine gas um i think i think which is probably a bad sign that uh it would be more prudent to go for the higher level of insulation than it would be for the for the helixine gas bearing in mind we got through that one fairly easily and we don't have much of an energy requirement because we've got such a few amount of people i imagine we'll still have quite a few amount of people by the time that the next ice age or whatever kicks in so why don't we try and find the next level of uh, insulation that one is the fibers right so we can just grow cotton or whatever else um insulation where is that insulation fibers we've got polymers which require what chem fuel that might not be too bad. We could just grow that as well, though, to be fair. We can just grow that. Well, that's a lot of research, which is why I want to get multi-analyzers first. So let's forget about all that for the time being. But we can grow the chem root added by the vanilla expanded mod. And then just process it into more polymers, which I assume will be incredibly efficient. Because that's the second highest one. The only one beyond that is what, like, uh... Maybe that is the highest one in hindsight. Um, insulation... I think the last one is yeah hyperweave that's it and obviously that's not on the books at all not even worth thinking about let's go bash him people um if we just go and rush him now like go in with melee attacks get in there okay get in there get in there robo daddy oh watch what you're doing with that knife i mean it's a scalpel it'll heal him a nice healing self straight to the head right there we go he's down um and then you let's undraft and then capture there we are good as new you will join us one way or another. So what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and move the stone cutting bench into there. Not only does that make more sense, but it actually provides a little bit of room in here for putting down another research table. So we want to cancel that. Uh, put one there and one there. Will fit. It's going to be tight for room, but it, it, I guess it's okay. Um, I was going to reinstall the, the filing cabinet down there, which is why it will work. It's, again, it's going to be a little bit tight for room, but it doesn't really matter too much. Then we could even go as far to try and ensure that this is quite a high cleanliness room. So any spare silver, I did notice that we've got some silver actually kicking around in the mountainside there when we get sterile tiles or whatever. That's probably a bit too future planning, I will admit. Right, so we're going to get another one down there. Especially we don't even have enough wood to build these things. And I kind of want to save the steel, but when we are blitzing through steel like nobody's business, given that we're building infrastructure, basic infrastructure out of it too, like doors. Oh! Shit. Ah. Uh... All 4,200 watts of energy have been discharged. Thank you. Okay. I will admit, that stop button, very useful. I don't know how the hell we survived without that. Well, I guess by hitting the draft button twice, but you know what I mean. I mean, it is it is a lot more convenient to do that. What are we looking at here, then? Okay, let's cancel that one. I I think rip it apart. I, I'll make, no, no, no. Don't rip it apart. Keep it just in case I somehow monumentally fuck things up to the extent that 
to the extent that the 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 summer, the the super summer, the inferno arrives, and we have nowhere to go. Oh, oh shit! Luckily, it was quite far away. Wow, wall got devastated there. Meteo storm. <laughs> I don't like the fact that it's pointing to our colonists rather than the actual meteor. That's a little bit concerning, isn't it? Wow, it's a lot more steel though, huh? And normally it drops. I was gonna say normally it drops some weird little. Standing lamp that time. There are, there are obviously two different types of meteor storms. There are regular meteors, which are which are the ones that leave behind like this style thing here. I think we've actually had a couple of meteor showers now. Um, so it's that there, yeah, like these ones too. So the jade meteors, yeah, your, your, your ores and your um stone chunks, and then there's obviously that one, which is a little more devastating for whatever reason. Does leave behind random electronics goods. Like we've got a wind turbine from that one stage, which wasn't too bad. All the minor meteors seem to be. Compacted steel. Oh, right, and we've of course got all of this is uh, more meters as well. That's a lot of silver. Holy shit, that's a lot of gold as well. More meteorites. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was talking about. So we've got sandstone this time. Obviously not <laughs> not much point to that one, but my god. This is this is quite inhospitable. Now, bear in mind, I did specifically increase earthquakes, meteor storms, that type of thing, because I think they fitted in quite nicely with our, our Yayo planet. I thought that was very on brand for even more chaos just going on. Uh, but we've had some some really, really frequent meteor showers. Just regular base game meteor showers there. Hello, what have we got here? Uh, slaver. I don't think we've got much to trade, unfortunately, but we might as well give it a go. 14.24 14 social now. Very nice. A little bit of training on the prisons there. Not really much to speak of. Now, I'm looking for straight away immortals, obviously. Um, Nick is a slave brand. Obviously not too relevant in the long term. You are nothing. Uh, scratch scar. Um, I feel like I've missed one here. My bad. Immortal. Tolder. Okay, worth worth remembering. Yeah, one of them has a wooden hand there, which is really not what we're after. We could sell them Moody. Moody has a Barnic Arm. Did I see that right? Oh, Bruce from a Barnic Arm, where Charamus, I guess, has punched him in the head, which he absolutely 100% deserves. Um, I would like to buy you. I will take what... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tolder's in our prison. Oh, never mind. I am insane. Um, so we've got Rab, Jaws, and Tapir, and Jerry. I guess we'll look at Rab's skill set. Shooting of 11 is what I like. See, tough as well. I mean, damage multiplier is halved. Whoa, I didn't realize it was quite that good. I thought it was pain. Thick skin. Oh, thick skin, dense flesh, and durable. Normally, say someone is tough, you know, they're kind of resilient. Rather than quite literally tough in this case with their thick skin. Oh, um, that's not bad. In terms of a warrior, that they wouldn't be bad to keep around to repel raiders. We can't afford them. Uh, what if I, like, liquidate all of our assets? Oh, okay, we could, we could trade some gold for them. Um, you know, I think I'm going to do exactly that. And, and Jaws, and what do you like? Great artistic. Night Owl Abrasive is obviously garbage. I don't know why that is considered. Um, I feel like the traits should be colored whether they're good or bad rather than based on their rarity. Because Abrasive and Night Owl are, are the same rarity. But I don't you Night Owl is actually pretty good if you manage it properly. Um, yeah, see, I'm not interested in that wooden hand. 80% manipulation is not really what I'm into. What have we got? Uh, crafting, great mem memory, cannibal kind. I mean, your traits are fantastic. Okay. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy all of them. If I can afford it. And then we'll... Okay, take the Luciferium as well. Somebody asked what happens if we give Luciferium to an immortal. I guess they would just die. And then... Or, or obviously the withdrawal would fuck them over. They'd die and then they'd resurrect and they'd be fine again. Either that or worst case scenario, similar to how diseases maintain their infection... Uh, until the Immortal gains immunity, the Luciferian might stick around in their system, and because we can't replicate it, it might just end up being a worse and worse and worse problem until our guys are just screwed entirely. So I think I'm going to sell that off and not risk it. Uh, how much more do we need? Oh, only 2,000. Um, Jerry, look. Slowpoke, Steadfast. Jerry, I don't want you. Jerry, you can stay there. Tapir's not terrible. Yeah, Tapir's okay. Jaws, and I might leave you behind as well, fella. Five construction, five cooking night. I'll brace it. Fourteen artistic. I, I mean, the hand is is a real deal breaker. Still can't afford it, even if I do that. Um, take take my components. We've got seventy one of them. We don't need seventy one of them. Um, we'll keep as many as we can. That seems fair. Welcome, Rob, and Tapir. We're almost ready to start building some uh, some actual furniture too soon. We've almost got a cotton harvest in, so we can build more beds at some point. We can both help out with hauling, which is great. Um, we can. Got finished right now. I feel like it's not really relevant at all, is it? Oh, you know what? Let's put that highest priority. I guess that is relevant. You know, I'm going to do basic as well. Fuck it. Um, we'll rebalance those later on when it becomes a bit more relevant. But for the time being, it's really not a big deal. Cooking, butchering, you are definitely not allowed to do that one. They can both hunt, which is, again, great news. Especially when we will eventually need to start hunting on mass to be able to produce that better sort of insulation until we get enough chem fuel to refine down. Um, 
I mean, you've got a passion in constructing. I guess we could train you up. I guess we could make you repair. That, I think, is not a bad idea. Um, in terms of harvesting, let's put le everybody on level 2 harvesting. And level 2 growing. And I think I'll make some adjustments based on that. We'll make fingers top priority there on those ones. Uh, train combat. Again, I want to keep that to level 4 for everybody. It's their kind of fallback job. Uh, fabrication. I think that's fine where it is. We're not really fabricating too much right now. And even then, there's not really a massive amount to do, is there? And then stone cutting. Why don't we give that to Rob and Tapir as their kind of fallback jobs? But when these guys don't really have much to do, especially Rob. I haven't really got a job for you right now. Oh, shit. Where are they coming from? Uh, Blue Forest Settlement. Where are they coming from? <gasps> Drop pods? Seriously? At this point in the game? Fucking hell. Okay. Um, I think we just... I think we just dogpile them. Let's see if we can get into some sort of cover here. Uh, so, Tapia, hide there. Let's get Sharamus up to, like, here. Shit, this is a little annoying, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Daddy-o! Daddy-o versus Robo-Daddy-o. Okay. Um, Rob actually can't shoot them because he's only got a sword off. Let's just bring him in. Just bring him in. We're, we're fighting a, a yay up Daddy-o. There, there's only one yay up Daddy-o here, my friend. Boom. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Did you see him go? What a guy. 11.67 shooting arm with a shotgun. He cannot be stopped. Okay. Well, as far as raids go, that actually was... Could have been could have been a lot worse. Actually, wasn't too bad. Let's get Sharamus. Let's get you. And let's get uh, you over there. And let's prepare by getting Robo Daddy kind of in the zone ready to heal. Have we got any more herbal medicine? Uh, herbal medicine. Herbal medicine. Where is it? It's in the freezer. Let's go stand Robo Daddy by the freezer. Then ready to grab some medicine and get it over there to them. If we just do that, he should immediately start working on it. Yeah, there we go. Good ship. Hopefully, Beetle will be over to help out in a second as well. Eight, seven, six. Oh, six. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. I, I even dropped him down to doctor care because, I mean, there wasn't enough time to save them all. I really did try and rescue that guy. Um, High on Yeo, Psychic Tolerance, Dementia, Cataracts, and Frail. He was he was bottom of the tier to be tended anyway. Uh, I tried. I genuinely tried, but... I'm not going to lose any sleep over not recruiting him, I'll be honest with you. I feel like he was he was definitely a good example of a character that would be more of a burden, given that game rule. Okay, so what, why don't we take a look at what our new our new captures are like. Uh, trigger happy. Oh, 13 medical. Is nice, I like that one. Um, and you've got 16 medical. Definitely dodger. And acetic as well. Is, it's quite nice to see. Um, no immortals, besides obviously Tolda, who we will be recruiting. They're all good, though. Don't be wrong. Two more medics on the team are fantastic. You can always... You can never have enough doctors. Well, I mean, unless the whole colony is doctors, then you've probably got too many. Two research benches online. So I've actually set Robo Daddy and Beta both to be high-tier researchers. What's he doing right now, if not that? Oh, prisoner management. That's reasonable. Hauling wood as well. Again, the wood is kind of necessary if you plan on having a, a working base soon. Uh, what have we got in terms of other building blocks? Steel. Again, I'm not, I'm not putting down steel tiles. I'm not committing to this base quite yet. I, I plan on doing a bigger rebuild. Just getting stable enough right now to ensure that we're not going to get wiped out by the next... Uh, by the next kind of world event is the current goal. Let's go ahead and get some lights down in here, though. I, again, I'd love to get some floors down in here. They are eating without a table. That is war crimes, as we've uh, we've discussed many an occasion. Uh, 100 wood. We do not have 100 wood. You're a liar. If we had 100 wood, these floors would be finished, my friend. Let's put down, like, a 2x2 two two table. Because they're all going to be having breakfast around the same time. Let's put it over there as well. Kind of clear a little bit of space. Something like... Something like that. That's enough for everybody. That's kind of overkill. Okay, let's do that. Then... That sounds like a single man has come to raid us. That's not a single man. Oh, God, that's a lot of man. That's multiple man. Uh, battle rifles, shotguns, chain shotguns, just automatic weaponry. Good. Good. This is where we need to be right now. Okay. Uh, draft up team. We need to make our kill wall larger, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for getting your actual weapon out there. Oh, God. Beta, where's your gun? Be Beta was beaten by Sharamus. Uh, and as a result, he's dropped his gun and not bothered to pick the fucking thing back up in typical Rimworld style. You might want to swap sides here, friend. Down there where you can use that gun a bit more effectively. Tape here. Look, I appreciate you showing up, but uh, you need to do more than that. Fucking hell, they are actually completely destroying us here. Um, well, let's not, let's not overstate it. They're not completely destroying us. But we are getting peppered more, more so than we normally would be. Um, when Beat is equipped, I'm going to send him down to deal with Alex. Get up here and just, just glow. Just, just glow him. Okay, we've got a couple down. Rosalina Copeland is down. We've got Moses. We've got Eren. Okay, this is not looking too bad. Tapir actually can't hit shit from there. 
Um, Rab is just kind of a, again, kind of just body blocking the fingers. Let's bring Tapir down so we can actually hit Alex. Might be a bit more useful. Bates are going with the flank. That should take him down. Come on, come on, come on. One more shot, one more shot. Come on, let's re okay, Rab is down. Rab was there to be taken down, though, to be fair. Um, right, let's push forward. Let's get you two boys moving here. Let's get Sharamus up to here. Robo Daddy, lay down some, lay down some fire. Horrible idea. Horrible idea, but sometimes you've got to, you just got to do it. Particularly when we've got very low scope weaponry, like P90s and shotguns. We've, we've got to move forward. We, we really have no choice. Although on the plus side, with this raid, we'll have some gun upgrades, which is quite nice. What's everyone doing? Five hours, four hours? Oh, fuck me. Six hours? You're fine. Uh, Rab? One hour? Easy come, easy go, I guess. Jesus, these guns are ripping us apart. Okay, okay, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. Um, you need to immediately rescue Rab if you can manage it. Everyone else, go and go and tend. Go and tend. <gasps> it's peppered Robo Daddy. Rescue him. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Um, forget about the for, forget about the. Oh shit! How do we even do this? Right, rescue him first. Put down a sleeping spot right next to him. Actually, let's get him patched up like right now. Uh, you know what? Do the same with Robo Daddy. Fuck it. Let's put him there. Uh, those are both medical spots. Uh, if you could drop him and place him back. I know we'll resurrect, but the point is, obviously, we don't want to... We don't want to not give him all the chance possible here to be working and helping out. Right, so say, Dr. Care, I will save you. Is everyone else okay? Bleeding out in six hours. You're bleeding out in five. We just put down a bunch of medical spots here just for Beta to quickly tend to them as a kind of temporary thing. I would rather give them Dr. Care now and stop them dying and then deal with the infections later. Right, medical. Let's go stop, and they should go and... They should go and lie down over there instead. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, okay, so you're now going to start. Put him down. Put him down. Put him down. Where are you taking him? What? <laughs> what are you doing, you strange man? No, I'd rather, much rather take him to this sleeping spot in here. Madman. Right, okay. I think we're going to lose Rob. It's going to be fucking close. Uh, so, oh, tape is down. Rescue. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's good. That's good. Fingers is fine. Robo Daddy is fine. I mean, they're immortal. They're always going to be fine. Tapir is the only one I'm really concerned about right now. He might actually save this colony. Three hours, five hours, six hours, two hours. Really, we should start tending to Robo Daddy. However, on account of him being an immortal, he will naturally heal anyway just by lying on the floor there. So, okay, 30. Okay, one condition in 10. Let's, let's, let's start working on you now. And then when he's patched up, 10 hours, one hour. Two hours. Yeah, see, they're still doing fine, despite the fact that time has passed. One just didn't need to any, but his is more essential. So now turn to him. Earthquake. Oh, bollocks. Where was that? Okay, nothing to worry about. We're fine. And he's tended. Right, right. Okay, next next play then. Go for Tapia. And he's fine. Now we go for Robo Daddy. No, no, no. Just go regular Dr. Care there. Just to get him back upon his feet, really. Um, oh, again, I think he'll probably be fine. He hasn't actually lost any blood since the time he's been on the floor there. How's things doing? Bleeding out in 20 hours. Yeah, he is, again, healing. So he is a high level of mortal. Okay. I think we're all right. We're actually fine. A bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. I don't, I don't think any of us will... Oh, God, don't arrest him. What are you doing? There we are. I wanted to bring them indoors rather than leaving them out there. Rescue Tapia. Um, fingers, thank you for giving up your bed. This won't be forgotten. Right. Rescue Tapia. Okay, well, somehow we managed to save all our people, which is mind-blowing. Um, what have you got on you? I, I want to strip this person. How many of the... So all of the raiders died in that time, but I think it was a necessary. I, I, think, it was, I think it was necessary. A good trade-off. Right, don't capture. Strip them first, then capture, just in case they die. You know, we might not be able to actually rescue this person. Okay, and... Tend? Do they die? Oh, my blind? Oh, there they are. Reserved by Robo Daddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, not assigned to doctoring. Oh, you're not assigned to doctoring. That's right. You're not a doctor. Uh, playing horseshoes. No, no, no. Uh, tend. Protest tending. Two hours. We actually might rescue him. Better my Robo Daddy's on his way over here via the medicine anyway. Might as well let him carry on. Come on. One hour. We've got ourselves another prisoner. Very nice. Well, okay. That was, uh, a bit messy, but we actually did come out not too bad there. Let's get these boys tidied up. Let's do goggles. Give an aiming time of minus 10%. Good God. Um, who's our best shot? Because those in the hands of the right person, Sharamus, in this situation, are going to be insane. And we'll also give him the right armor too, I guess. Well, his right armor, do you think, better than... Better than... Uh, I mean, he's got flight jacket and a flight vest. I feel like right armors, right armors are better for um, 
blunt damage, aren't they? So this is, this is I think, is about to trade off marine gloves, though. Those are quite nice. Thank you. Uh, jeans. Shoes. I mean, he already had shoes. Um, and then it, you can, in exchange for all this great stuff that you've just been given, we'll make sure that their guns are stripped. So we do have the... Uh, uh, the mod that stops them dropping their gear. The downside to that is, of course, we are missing out on some weapons here. Let's make sure they're stripped, and then we'll get all of this stuff thrown into mass graves. Oh, what? Oh, you son of a motherfuck. Oh, really? How is... Oh, God, we had a ton of spawn in the stockpile. Well, that's not ideal. <clears throat> that's not ideal. Now all my prisoners are escaping. All those prisoners that I min max trying to rescue are now walking away. And are probably the ones that are walking away are going to bleed out because they were hit by, get this, friggin' tornado. All of my things are on fire. My base is in ruins. I'm a little bit annoyed. Oh, we can't even imprison them because there's <laughs> no prisoner. There is actually no enclosed prisoner bed. Uh, this is now the new prison. It was going to be a dining room. Uh, it's a prison now. On account of our other prison. Being destroyed by a tornado. <laughs> oh, I was so happy about this playthrough as well. Up to that moment, I was like, things are going our way. I planned things out a little bit more. Micromanaging a little bit better. Things are going a lot better. A lot better this time. And my components are ablaze. 420 ablaze. Uh, please go and put those out for fuck's sake. The weapons in the locker are on fire. That doesn't even make sense. I, 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 I can't. I, I cannot do this. I cannot function with the... <clears throat> so I tried to capture that prisoner. Uh, they went berserk. I, you probably saw it. I don't think I need to explain it. Uh, they, they, this, this man here, Chantel, decided that the optimal course of action in response to a prisoner going berserk was to shoot the prisoner with a triple rocket launcher. Robo Daddy, I mean... Uh, I mean, Beater is... He's dead. I don't think I can really do much about this. Uh, and even if they're not going to die, they are, I mean, so screwed. They're covered in scars, which is, I mean, kind of the, the, the least you could expect, being hit by a freaking rocket launcher. Okay, that's not... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, stop this. Rescue. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Doctor care and tend. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I went down to three seconds. Shit. Okay. We haven't lost anyone. We have. We lost bloody loads of prisoners. Fucking shit loads of prisoners. We're down to two. Sharamus is asleep in a field. What happened to the immortal prisoner? They're still alive. Well, that's something. That is a consolation prize. No, it's not. Fuck this game. I'm... Do you know how long it took to get that much wood? Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to play at Rimworld anymore. I'm going to play SimCity. I want to play... I want to... I want to... No! I want to build a, a, a town and my people will be happy. I want to be the one committing the war crimes. I am the one having war crimes committed against me. I'm going to call someone who can stop this. <laughs> what a fucking mess. What difficulty are you playing on again? Sorry. Let me just strive to survive. Strive to survive this, he says. He drops a damn tornado in my... No, even Randy Merciless wouldn't do that. All the other storytellers are, are in terror at this dude. What survived? Luckily, luckily our cloth survived. I don't know how. Um, did the components survive? No, they didn't. Despite the fact I sent Rubber Daddy to... Oh, well, to be fair, we did have to go and save. It was Beta's life or 21 components. And I feel like that was... I, I, it was a necessary trade. 
It was a necessary trade. Um, and I know there's going to be smog sons of bitches in the comment section. That's what you get for keeping your chem fuel in a stockpile. Uh, funnily enough, I don't think it matters where you keep your chem fuel unless it's on friggin' Mars. A tornado is going to blow it up. I'm very annoyed by that. I'm going to keep it in a, a triple lead lined place where it'd be completely useless to the world, but we never have to worry about tornadoes again. How long till my chem fuel's regrown? Ah, yes. Years. Wow, that's, um... It's just devastating, isn't it? Okay, what have we got a quest here? What have you got for me? 11 new Luciferium. I don't want that. Um, Carter wants to... God, I, I named this colony, by the way. God help us all. I think I forgot to mention it. Uh, never been more appropriate. Four bandits to outlaws. Now, that sounds easy. Until you bear in mind that in between those bandits and those outlaws turning up, we're probably going to have five earthquakes, three meteor showers, two tornadoes, and I imagine Robo Daddy is going to end up being a traitor. Why are you sleeping in a field again next to a corpse? I think Sharamus has some issues. I actually got a bed as well. That wasn't the person I reassigned. Bear in mind, his fingers, whose bed was reassigned. Where are you sleeping right now? Ah, another comfy field. Um, wow. So let's go and designate some more wood then. Maybe I should just rebuild these doors out of freaking steel and just have a lot of people do mining. You know, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to do exactly that. Sod it. Let's try and save as much wood as possible here because we just don't have... <laughs> just don't have enough for everything. Columnus? Col Columnus? Colonist Charimus has gained the trait Decent Learner. That's actually really good. Just as a random free trait there. Very nice. Uh, Beauty Mine. Okay, that's clearly not right. There we are. Uh, it's 25%. So it's not massive, but I'm, it's still pretty good for... Kind of task that he will only do occasionally. So, say, melee, for example. Good ex uh, I mean, mining as well when he's locked away all, uh, all all summer means he can have a chance to build those skills up a little bit faster. Kind of is, is going to cancel out the detriment more than anything else of being locked away rather than actually gaining the skill. Well, moods are in a pretty good place now, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that more than anything else. I mean, lavish meals are coming pretty thick and fast because we've got so much variety of food here. I would grant it's been quite a time sink. I've got them up here eventually. But, uh, they're going to start planting some chem route to make up for the fact that of course we lost a lot of ship but more importantly we can refine that into better levels of insulation we are getting there with monocore electronics it's taking a little time here but there is more than a few hours of the day where both are simultaneously researching sometimes they get hard jobs like going off to deal with prisoners and whatever else besides that though they seem to be doing not too bad and we got another slave caravan there so we'll take a look see if they've got any more immortals for us which i mean more immortals for the storyteller to kill horribly without giving me so much as a chance of redemption okay uh who are we trading with here I don't know who the hell we're trading with. Uh, this man? Ro Rosie? I don't know who we're trading with. Hang on. Let's give him a second to stand around. There we are. Trade with a little. We haven't really got much to trade, bear in mind at this point. So, we can really kind of take what we can get. Um, slow learner. Optimist kind is a nice combo. Uh, stab scar. Again, I'd like to buy them all, but I don't think we can really afford it. Um, we've got Borlo. Borlo Grow Fisherman. Oh, Fisherman is quite nice as, as a sort of casual way of gaining a little bit of extra extra meat what have we got here for zami i want to just check if they're immortals basically that's all i'm going to do here um why are they always orcs as well something a little bit concerning about that uh nothing and again we can't afford it if there was an immortal i would go above and beyond and sell the things that we kind of need to to get that but as it stands i'm not going to trade it for some orcs who are, like decently skilled fucking hell i genuinely think this storyteller sends more raids than the uh down the way of base survival storyteller. It, it's just insane. It's just insane. Go get your gun. What up to your gun? Let's certainly give it to Rahab. Now, they're going to walk all the way around, aren't they? Uh, you better get indoors. Yes, they are. Okay, so we can still find them. This should be an easy one, I think. There's only... I mean, there's only six of them. They've got clubs. This should be fairly straightforward. And we've got a trade caravan if things really get out of hand. If all our guys are somehow defeated through some act of God, then the trade caravan can kill them give our immortals a chance to get back upon their feet immortal uh blue ferret prosthetic hand bat prosthetic hand immuno enhanced when you're right kidding where the hell did you gain that that'd be nice uh the, the skill set doesn't look too terrible either medical yikes oh you're not bad uh if we're gonna capture anyone it has to be you because you've got some uh oh i suppose it's what like double passion artistic i suppose it's not great um you're not bad Jogger, quick sleeper, diplomat. That's quite nice. Let's see how it goes. Obviously, we'll only be able to take the prisoners that we actually managed to knock down here. So, oh, God, this is a bloodbath compared to the last ones. Wow, fucking hell. Okay, um, I guess we'll try and capture them all. I'm not optimistic here. Better mind again, we've only got two medics right now, seeing as all those medics we were going to recruit burned to death horribly in a tornado-related accident. Mad. Look at that. <laughs> 
Taking the whole raid back. I like that. That's that's a, that's a rare occurrence. Both our guys tending to them here. I'm not sure we're going to actually manage to save them all. Bat has died already. That was fast. Uh, purple also dead. So we lost three. I mean, half the raid, though. I'll take it. Color system. Not affiliated with any faction. Oh, so we could just straight capture him. Uh, industrious. Oh, that's what I like to see. 10 medical as well. Greedy is not ideal. Chemical fascination also not ideal. But... Rescue him? Should we, should we try a rescue rather than a capture? Um, no. No, I'm not leaving it to chance. It probably only end up being a freaking traitor anyway. We actually managed to save him here. Christ, it's going to be close. There we go. Man, that was close. Welcome aboard. Okay, that's another prisoner on the... <laughs> in the coffin. Because uh, when you when you enter, you never leave. Moody and Tolder are the one exception to that. Moody somehow must be his gas mask. I mean, Tolder is immortal. Well, it looks as if my grand plan of getting that fancy installation done before... <laughs> Before the inferno kicks in is more or less not going to happen here. On the plus side, we'll finish microelectronics very, very soon. When we've done with that, we're going to Helixian gas as soon as possible. Make sure that's dealt with because, again, that's that's going to be potentially the difference between life and death. You've got way too much corn. Um, I don't know how we've ended up with so much corn and so little of everything else. I'm actually replacing the tomatoes with peppers because the tomatoes are garbage. Um, there was not really any bonus to them in hindsight. Uh, we could go for, like... I don't really know. Uh, beets. So it's a requirement 110%. Um, they do require rich soil. They're quite hard to continue to grow very slowly throughout the winter. They planted during the growing season, though. Uh, it took 5.7 days to grow. I think we'll go for beets instead. Peppers, I have a feeling, are just going to be the same as tomatoes, where they take a long time, but you retain the vine afterwards. Did say they weren't eaten by animals, but obviously that's not really an issue, given there's barely anything alive on this map. Man or beast. Hey, there we go. Wow, I was hoping to have had that done so much sooner. Just <laughs> so much sooner, but everything was was pretty much against us there. Okay, um, so I, I'm trying to read this room so that we can actually fit in one, maybe two research benches. Uh, it's going to be a fucking tight squeeze. Yeah, it will fit, but it's not going to be nice to look at. Not that I really care about that type of thing right now. Uh, we've got much bigger fish to fry. Let's go ahead and reinstall this somewhere where it's still useful, just in case this doesn't work, or just in case we don't have the right resources or anything like that. Let's go production and high-tech research bench. Right, we can fit one there, and then we can fit one there like that. Um, not ideal, but does work. Now, that doesn't work at all. The interact spot's in the wrong place. We'd have to sacrifice another wall. Um, and even then, they've got to climb over the benches. You know what would work? I've got a weird idea, and, and it actually will work fine. Uh, take these apart, then. Fuck it. Oh, I didn't mean to delete the stop pile. We'll take away the benches, and then I'm going to have them facing outdoors, because at this point, why not? Just tell me this counts as indoors. Oh, my room war tactics are just too advanced for you. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. Um, we're lacking components, but I, I, I kind of made a big song and dance about how many components are on the map. So if I can't find any now, that will be a... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there's some there. We're fine. Okay, let's get Sharamus on that right now, if you will, fella. Another one. Uh, the Exodus Imperium. Ah, you're worth saving. Uh, just to win over the hearts and minds of the Empire. Let's get Robo Daddy on that straight away, please, Robo Daddy. Thank you. Uh, gushing? Oh, right. Other people's secrets. Got it. <clears throat> heat wave. Oh, my God. That is a massive heat wave, too. 55? Uh, the insulated room actually holding up. Okay, let's build another wall cooler, then. We'll build a double block one. Um, air conditioning. Actually, building that right now wouldn't hurt. Oh, shit. We haven't got any components. How are we going to survive the heat wave? Okay, maybe two advanced research benches is a bit unnecessary. On account of uh, everybody dying horribly, mainly. Um, plus, side, I can now reinstall that so it faces indoors. What? This guy just resurrected. I'm not sure who he is. Slave of the Pact of Fonbatai. Oh. Shit, that was one of the guys we could have bought. And it turns out he was he was immortal. He just never resurrected before. I assume. Heat stroke. Heat stroke. I can't stop it. I haven't got any fucking components. Okay. Um. We we genuinely just do not. I can't. I can't stop this. We have no components now. Oh God. This is a a, a mess. <laughs> a constant mess. Whole ass, Sharamus. 
Oh, I hate this man. Oh, this fucking heat wave is going to kill my people. I can't stop it. I don't know how we've used up so many components, but I'm, I'm looking around the map here and I'm not seeing... Not seeing too many, to be honest with you. Uh, two blocks there. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's definitely an issue. Uh, it's probably where my stockpile caught fire. Not that I'm bitter. Um, right, yeah, now that is a big deal. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Survival of the fittest. Prisoner Nadine is escaping. Prisoner Nadine just crawled out of a grave. She must be immortal. You I fucking hope so, huh? Uh, she is. Wow. We just had an immortal crawl out of a grave. That's horrifying. The heat wave is over. Ah, oh, not a problem. Who's got a heat stroke? Are you alright? I mean, it should be wearing off. I mean, unless he's sat inside uh, an insulated building, I guess. <laughs> well, that's not ideal. Survival pods. Uh, those are nice. I feel like I should forbid package of armors until we're at a certain point of the year where it's going to be relevant. So until we get to Ice Age, Inferno is going to be, obviously that's one thing we need to research as well. It's obviously package of armors ready for the Inferno because we are not going to be able to cool meals unless we sit there and eat pemmican all day, but that seems like a terrible idea. Let's leave it there because I think I'm on the verge of, uh, just, uh, a blackout. Just, compl uh, just, just uh, dying at this point. Uh, today has been a, a mess, a complete mess. I've, I've tried to beat Perry Persistent, but he has, he has won today. He won't win tomorrow because we are going pretty, actually kind of hard on the gas extraction already. So that will be done in no time. I think we can have that done before the end of summer. Then we'll focus on somehow getting, I don't know how we're going to get components. We obviously can't craft components. We've not been given any advanced components yet. And if we had, they were uh, certainly burnt. Um, so we might have to start strip mining through these mountains, seeing what we can pull up. Any traders? Uh, a comms console might be top priority here. If we find any more components, that might be what I do. We might even want to take something apart. Fuck, I don't know what the hell we take apart to get some components back, seeing as everything that we had components in burnt horribly. What do you need for a comms console? Let me just double check here. Um, misc. Why don't we put one of those down as a preemptive kind of thing? Like, there it is. Do with it what you will. We haven't got enough components right now, but we might get some soon. Uh, there is a trader. It's a Royal Tribute trader, so it's not, it's not important. Um, but next trader we get, you know, might be bulk goods. Might be able to do something with that that will help us out here. Maybe another spaceship battle. That would be great. Those things always gave us a shitload of components, didn't they? Anyway, thank you for watching. That's what's important here. See you all tomorrow for more of me failing to control this mad storyteller. A big thank you goes out to Limpy George, Dante Mordecai, and Roll 2 Demon Games, Blue the Bard, Pelvis Presley, Siala, Atmosis, Aromatic Fool, Alex, Harik, Scott, Slippy, Nips, Ninja Tree, V, Tyler, Kendall, Siphon, Scary, Scurvy, Ben Hoffland, Nostrus, and everyone else the Insane Tale Lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to these guys for keeping things going. And a thank you as well goes out to the top of my list, all the way back to the top again. Thank you to Zorato, Devorda, Don, Jason Sushu, Luciola, Gaz, Mr. Awesome, Moondoggy, Evan Dragon 323, Monty Ben Taylor, Nick, Valkyrie, Rob Girth, Adrian Elliason, and all the other patrons as well for keeping the channel going for yet another month of stress. Thanks. <laughs> God, I need a manager.